Hey guys, so to start off my tutorial for this glittery skull, I'm starting off by spraying my hair with this pink colour. If you have longer hair, I'll suggest get two cans because one can didn't give me enough coverage, nor it didn't cover all my hair as what you will see later on. So to map out all the parts of the skull on my face, I'm going to be using a white eyeliner and I'm just mapping out the temples and the jawline, the nose, eyes and I'm basing everything around my bone structure so I had to fill mine out and then I draw it on. Then using a black face paint I'm just filling the eyes out and the temples afterwards. I had to get a few layers on there but then afterwards you want to make sure to set it with black eyeshadow so it's not shiny and it stays, stays on for a bit longer. Also I've decided to put black eyeliner into my waterline so the eyes are even more dark. Now I'm starting with the white face paint and I'm going to cover most of my face with white for the skull and then I'm going to map out with black eyeliner with what I want to be black. Now fill in all these parts with black paint again, just making sure everything is filled out. I should have used a bigger brush for that but I just couldn't be bothered to find it because the other one I was using for white paint so. Then I'm just blending in the teeth part. Also it's your choice if you want to cover your ears as well, I didn't. I didn't want to really do that but it would make it more effective so it's up to you then I'll be taking Taking a smaller brush again and wiping and mapping out the teeth line, followed by drawing the teeth lines and drawing the rest of them. I'll be following my natural teeth, kind of same thing that I did with my face structure, so same with my teeth structure. Don't forget to shade in the inner part of your lips because we don't want anything pink and we want it dark and we're looking like a skull now. So here I'm trying to do like teeth sockets so it looks more like teeth rather than just lines so it makes it more, a bit more realistic and adding more shadows in. Then to make the look even more scary I'm frowning so I can map out the lines when I frown and fill them in. Then 
just add in a few cracks that the bottom matching. And now we're using a cool, cool toned eyeshadow in brown colour or grey. I'm just adding more depth to the skull and we want to make it more realistic and not flat. So to make it more 3D looking and more details, just brown eyeshadow around the temples, eyes and jaw. Also adding more depth to the frown, which is going to make it seem more realistic, even without me frowning. I have decided to do my neck and my collarbones as well, so I'm just filling everything out, drawing the, drawing the bones on, and then I'll be filling in with glitter. Now using this glitter, which I'll link down below with the name and the colour, I'll be using that as base to stick the, the loose glitter on top of that. So to make it more fun, I'm just using it as a highlight. Then I'll be using it on my eyelids, underneath my eyes, temples and really wherever I just decided to put it, just random places. Of course you can skip that step and that will be your look done, but if you're more interested into making it more colourful and sparkly then this is how I did it. And this is it guys, this is my hair done and this is the final look, so if you enjoyed it let me know, subscribe, like, comment, anything, any more suggestions, I have more videos coming and see you in the next video. Hey, look at that face though, still killing it.